always became this thing where it was like, what's next, what's next, what's next? You, you grew this business that was thriving and was doing really well and you were making an income off of it. But in a lot of ways, it, it felt like the rat race that someone might have in a corporate nine to five world where you're not exactly focused on the priorities of it and why am I doing this? What, like, why is this fulfilling? What is the end goal here? Am I just going for likes or for clicks mm -hmm. or for um, downloads? So... What was that realization for you? How did you come about that? Mm -hmm, right. So 2015, I, for about half the year, I did my web design studio. Then I transitioned to courses and they started doing really well. And I was like, oh, I could do this full time. This will be my new thing. 2016, things just completely shot up. Uh, we did over a million dollars in revenue with courses. And I started the year thinking, I want to help people and I want to teach people and I want to help them grow their own businesses because this has been so fun and fulfilling for me. Um, and then it turned into this thing of, well, now that I'm at this level, I need to go for the next level. And now that I hit this goal, I need to shoot for the next goal. And it always became this thing where it was like, what's next? What's next? What's next? And never taking time to think, is this actually fulfilling me? Am I really helping people? Am I still remembering all the reasons why I started this, this whole business and blog in the first place? Or am I forgetting what my real purpose is? And it, kind of happened when I was at a conference last year. I actually just went to the same conference again a couple of weeks ago. I was at this conference, this spoken word artist named NQ. I think he lives in LA. Um, he was performing and he talks a lot about kind of this, this type of stuff. It talks a lot about politics and about how we get caught up in the rat race and how we need to remember kind of our our connection and, and that that's not just what life is all about, money and status and all of that kind of stuff. And I remember just sitting in this auditorium and everyone else was like, yeah, he's so good. Oh my gosh, this guy's great. And I was like trying to hide the fact that I was bawling because it hit me and I was like, oh my God, I am that person. And I'm the person that I never thought I would become and never wanted to be, that I was so focused on the growth and the comparison being the best and, and all those types of things. And so I remember at that conference during lunch, my friends were like, do you want to go get something to eat? Because that's what we would do each break during the conference. And I was like, no, I'm going to take this by myself. And I walked to a CVS, bought a little yellow notebook and a pen, bottle of water. And I walked to a park and sat at a table by myself and just wrote out everything that I'd been feeling over the past year about how I wasn't being honest with my identity and how I was getting wrapped up in something that didn't feel like me. And and started to make plans for how I could change that about myself and about my business and what I focus on. And since then, that was that was about a year ago. Um, since then, we've made a lot of shifts. We've started focusing more on giving back and uh, doing charitable things and also just focusing less on the numbers and more on the people and how are we helping people and how are we creating community in a deep, intimate way. And the money comes like it's still it still comes and and that's not even a factor anymore it's kind of like when you start focusing on the things that actually matter at least this is my experience then the things that you want or the things that you need will come anyways and you'll be happy because you're focusing on your true purpose and true mission um and and your business will still be growing so that's been my experience with just kind of coming back to this is what i actually need in my life this is what's actually fulfilling for me um, versus getting wrapped up in that like you said the rat race